ladies and gentlemen. I have a like really small haul for you. I originally wasn't even planning on filming a haul when I was going shopping, but when I was looking through the stuff, I was like, man, maybe this is enough to share. And since I have the opportunity to film and make a video, I'm gonna do it. Um, because in case you don't know, like I work and I also go to school and I play roller derby. So I don't actually have a lot of time in my day-to-day -day life to film. So when I get the chance, I do. Regardless of what it is that I'm filming, I'm gonna do it to put a video out for you guys. So I went to Target. Um, again, really small haul, didn't buy a lot, but let me show you what I did buy. We'll start with the most fun and exciting item, if you ask me. Uh, I bought a new purse. I really liked my other purse, but it was too heavy. <laughs> and I feel like I didn't even have that many things in it, but regardless, I think the purse itself had uh, too much weight to it. So I was trying to cut down and minimize the amount of, you know, junk I carry around on a daily basis. So this purse is a bit smaller than what I had, um, but so far so good. It's got everything I feel I need, um, or may need. So on the front, it has this little zipper here, and so I actually use this to put my work keys in, so I never lose those. I always have to have some pocket in my purse that's dedicated for me to put my work keys in. So, because if I don't put them in a special spot, I'll lose them. Um, you flip, you flip that open. It's got these two front pockets right here. It is divided, and then the zipper. So on the inside, it's got a zipper pocket right here, and then the rest. I'm lying. I was gonna say the rest is wide open. On this side, it's got little like just open flap pockets, which. Right now, I didn't put anything in those. We'll see. Oh, I am struggling. Zippering it. There we go. And it has a strap that you can do over the shoulder or over the whole body. That is an essential factor for me when I'm picking out a purse. So, and I like the material. It's nice. What brand is this? I don't know. I don't remember. Let's find out. It's Mossimo. It's the Mossimo brand from Target. So it was $24.99 in case you like it. They had a bunch of colors, a bunch of weird, funky, springy colors. I like funky spring, funky colors of all sorts, but not when it comes to my purses. I don't know. My purses, I kind of, I wanted to go with most outfits. So moving on. Uh, I bought a new toothpaste. So here's the box. Here's the toothpaste. It is the Crest 3D White Lux. Removes up to 90% of surface stains in five days. Glamorous white. And this is in Vibrant Mint. Um, I have used this once. It's uh, it's a little wet. I brushed my teeth in the shower. Woo! Um, it's a very, I want to call it fluffy taste <laughs> that make any sense. It's just a very, um, cause the squeeze tube part, I don't know, where it comes out, it comes out really thick and very like, when you use it, big time foaming action, but it's wonderful. And I, after using it one time, I am impressed. So I might actually do a separate video on that because I took a picture of my teeth this morning before I started using it. And because what does it claim? Five days. So in five days, I'll take another picture. And if it, I was gonna say, if it's a good side by side, I'll do a video. But how about regardless, whether it's good or bad, I'll do the video for you. So. Here, I do have the receipt in here. In case you are wondering, the toothpaste.
toothpaste was four twenty nine. So uh, I got some makeup sponges. Cosmetic wedges, latex free. This is just the Target brand. I've been needing to get more, you know, to be hygienic and whatnot. And I just have not been to a dollar store. Normally I would just go to a dollar store because you can get like a giant, giant bag. Um, but this actually wasn't too bad. A dollar 77 for 32. So no complaints there. Next thing I got was on clearance for like half off actually. Um, this is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh. Refresh. Mmm, it's been a long day. Age Refresh uh, Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. So, you know how I love the Yes to Blueberries um, facial wipes. And I also have the Yes to Blueberries uh, lip treatment. Since this was marked down to $9.98, I figured I would snag it up because I am at the point where I'm now concerned about wrinkles. I'm not saying I have wrinkles, I have bags, I have maybe wrinkles here. But uh, if I can prevent that, I you know. Why not? So, and I know, I already know I love the smell. So yeah, I got that in clearance for $9.98. It was originally $19.99. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing I got was the CoverGirl and Olay um, pressed powder. I got it in 320 Fair Lights. Down for ya. So you can see, I I have no idea. This is like a good match for my skin tone. Um, I really like the CoverGirl and Olay um, liquid foundation. My only problem with it is it's like $12 and I don't remember exactly how much product is in it, but I just know I run out of it so quickly. That's like the one foundation that I've ever bought that I seem to run out of really fast. So I stopped buying that. It was a really good foundation too. I just can't afford to keep buying that um, but I figured I'd try the powder since I need I still have other powder but I've hit pan on it so I just wanted to be prepared um, so I figured I'd give that a try because uh, like I just said the whole wrinkles thing um, Olay you know the other two things I bought oh you probably don't know how much the powder was foundations um this is the one that I've been using well it's the last one I had bought that I've been using I tend to switch it up I'm you know I usually don't buy the same thing because the only foundation I've really fallen in love with is the CoverGirl and Olay but I can't afford to keep buying that <laughs> um but this is the Rimmel uh this was on clearance a lot of it is covered up I got it on clearance for 278 so it is Rimmel Clean Finish, I think that's what it's called. Clean Finish, Clean Finish? Yes, Clean Finish. All right, it's the Clean Finish 100% uh, Poreless. has vitamins A and E, and that's what originally attracted me to this foundation. Because I hate just, you put so much stuff on your face, and it's like, that can't be good. So it says vitamins. So um, I, for the life of me, when I was shopping, could not remember the color that I had been wearing, and I definitely did not pick up the color I had been wearing. Um, when I got home, I thought I had been wearing warm ivory. I picked up soft beige, so uh, I was kind of I was shopping pretty uh, 
quickly, a hurry, you could say. So I didn't bother like really trying to see if this matched. But when I got home and I went like that, I went, oh, no, no, no. But something I've been wanting to do is mix foundation with my uh, Olay face cream. And so I think if I do that, that would lighten this up, right? In my head, that's the idea. So I'm gonna experiment with that someday. Let me know if you would like to see me experiment with that, whether or not it works out, because I have no idea if it's actually gonna work out. But the other foundation I bought is the one that I've been wanting to try and hopefully it lasts me longer than the CoverGirl and Olay one does because it was $11.99. It's the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup Micro Clear. It's the blemish treatment with salicylic acid. So, I, once I heard about this, I was like, ah, uh, I need to get that. Because, again, pardon me, again, everything I just said about all the stuff we put on our face, it just it never feels right to me to do it. Um, so uh, forever, I was like, why isn't there a foundation with acne medicine in it? Why? Like, you get a blemish, what do you do? You put crap on top of it? That doesn't make any sense. So finally, finally. So hopefully this will give me a beautiful face. I don't know. I mean, mine's really not bad. I got a little spot right here. I got some action going on here. You can see. I gotta go grab one more item and be right back. So this video is way longer than I anticipated um, for a small haul. I guess I've been talking a lot. I'd say I'm sorry. I'm not. So this is the last item I bought. This is by Vaseline Spray and Go. Um, this is the Cocoa Radiant Non-Greasy. So this is a moisturizer for your legs. So this is a new product. Uh, once I've used it a full time, a full time, a full time, once I've used it a few times, uh, I think I'll do a video for you telling you what I like it. So it's, I was just going to explain about it, I'll save that for the other video. Uh, I will tell you, it, there's a cocoa, co cocoa, I had it, I was saying coconut, uh, oat and honey, and then an aloe one. I wish they had just like a regular, non-scented one, but they didn't, they don't, not yet, it is a brand new product, so, that is it, we will end it here. Thank you for watching. Leave anything you want down below. Um, you can always, I always mean to say this in my videos, if you ever want to leave a video response, even if it has nothing to do with this video, if you're just trying to get your channel going and you want to get your videos out there, go for it. I have no problem with that. As far as I remember, I have, no, I'm lying. I don't have it automatically to video responses, but don't worry, I will prove them. But if I think to set it to automatic, I will. Um, yes, and if you are not a subscriber, I would love if you take this moment to 